Hey guys, today I'm going to do the 500 Bestest Makeup Challenge and I think the rule is I cannot really use any other product than the one that I bought. So this is actually my third time filming this because I wasn't really satisfied with the products that I bought before so I had to repurchase half of the products that I bought. So yeah, it was very costly. Anyway, I'm going to start off with this powder. It has light to medium coverage so it didn't really cover up my pimple that well pimples that well so yeah but it's still pretty good i also use it as my concealer underneath my eyes by the way i voted so that's why i have blue ink on my nail so next is eyebrows i'm using this nishido eyebrow pencil and it's super waxy so you kind of have to be careful you can use your finger to blend it and the color is clearly not my shade so yeah it's an okay product I'm using this palette and I'm taking the light color and placing it all over my lid and taking this brown color and using my fingers to blend it on my crease. Next I'm using a sponge tip applicator and taking the reddish brown color and using it on my outer V and darken, darkening up the look um, and I'm also using it underneath my lash line so I'm taking the other side of the sponge tip applicator and taking the white eyeshadow and placing it on my inner corners next is this Nishido eyeliner I'm just doing a little wing on the end of my eyes and I don't want it to be too crazy By the way, this is not a waterproof eyeliner. I wore this makeup throughout the day and the eyeliner stayed on pretty well. I, the whole makeup stayed on pretty well. I have no comments on any of the makeup I used. I loved everything. If not loved, I it's an okay product. So next is these Etude House False Lashes and these are amazing. I don't know why I forgot to use this eyelashes on my second attempt on making like a 500 pesos makeup challenge because I actually bought a different glue and a different eyelashes and the eyelashes were too plasticky and the glue burned my eyes so bad it was horrible so I had to refilm this so anyway here I just got back from an errand and it was so sweating it was so hot that day and I'm gonna retouch and see how it looks but wait I'll just have to remove my jacket because blur is so hot I cannot take it um, so yeah uh, anyway I'm retouching and seeing if I don't look like a cake face after I touch and so far so good it looks pretty damn good so I'm using the sponge that I use for my powder and using it also for my bronzer I'm taking the first eyeshadow that I use first brown eyeshadow that I used and using it as my bronzer um, it has a little bit of a red tint, so just be careful for that. Also sculpting my nose and basically folding the sponge to get more precision. And I wanted to blend everything out, so I took my sponge again and dip it into my um, powder and place it on the areas where I think it's too harsh or too red. And I'm using it again the other side to use for blush and I'm using the darker blush but you can use the other one if you like and this is a dusty rose color and taking it and placing it on my cheeks I'm using the mix of those two colors and using it as my highlight for my cheekbones and also underneath my brow bone I'm also placing it in the middle of my nose and on the tip of my nose, on my inner corners, and also my cupid's bow, of course. I'm taking this Nishido lip blush or tinted lip balm and using it as my lipstick. And I don't really, I didn't really, I didn't, I wasn't really into the glossy look that day so I went ahead and got a one ply tissue and placed it on top of my lip and basically pat it all over with some powder um, you can use translucent powder and put it directly on your lip but since this has a color I put like a tissue on top so I couldn't alter the color so voila I have a semi matte lipstick 
So that is my take on this 500 pesos makeup challenge. So let's see the total drum roll, please. <laughs> so um, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys like this look. I was actually halfway f um, editing that video, but I decided to do it all over again. And yeah, because I was not satisfied at all. Like, it looks good, but it's not like how I want it to be like this look right here. Million bucks. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to be updated. Comment what you think about this makeup look if you liked it for just 500 pesos. And also comment, please say comment already. And like if you enjoyed and you found this video helpful. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. You'll see me on my next video. Bye.